Welcome back. We're here with meteorologist Nate Larson. Nate, it's Oscar weekend. It sounds like the weather is going to be the perfect kind of weather to stay inside tomorrow, bundle up, watch TV. Yeah, we've got showers, more moisture on the way. It was a beautiful start today, though. We were up when the sun came up uh, just after 6 o'clock, but boy, it was just crystal clear across northern Utah. Seeing some clouds now over Snow Basin. We had uh, anywhere from 4 to 8 inches of snow reported in the last 24 hours for a lot of the resorts. Again, after that front, the storm system moved through northern Utah yesterday evening. A current look from the Neil Armstrong Academy showing some of the high clouds uh, moving back in. We do have moisture that's going to be on the way. Again, it's mainly focused in the central and southern part of the state this evening. Temperature wise, we've actually done pretty well. We're still colder than normal. We're in the 40s. Salt Lake City coming in at 46 right now, 36 in Logan, 42 in Ogden, Provo. Good evening, 42, 55 in St. George. Usually we're in the low 50s this time of year, getting close to the mid 50s for our normal highs. Satellite radar showing that westerly flow that's in place. A lot of the moisture, as I mentioned, across the southwest, south central corner of the state and in southeastern or east central Utah, I should say. More of this moisture coming in from the west will impact us. It's over Elko right now as we get into Sunday overnight and early tomorrow morning. In fact, active weather continuing over southern Utah through the evening hours. We talked about that winter weather advisory in effect through 6 o'clock Sunday morning across the central and southern mountains. Two to six inches of additional snowfalls possible. A few rain snow showers for northern Utah tomorrow across, in fact, the entire state. We've got more rain next week. In fact, we're looking at another atmospheric river event. This one looking even more prolonged than what we saw with this uh, most recent run. Tuesday through Thursday could be pretty active. Here comes the moisture. Then let's put long range future cast into motion. Our wave of moisture tomorrow moving in along this warm front. More, the atmospheric river essentially is talking about a storm system that's tapping into subtropical moisture. So you can track the, uh, the moisture all the way into the tropics. And here it comes. This is our atmospheric river event that will be here Tuesday. Tuesday into Wednesday, of course, it slams into California yet again. They've been dealing with more uh, torrential rains, heavy mountain snow over the Sierra Nevadas, and that moisture will trickle into Utah as we get into Tuesday, Wednesday being the rainiest day, over to possibly some snow showers into Thursday as northwest flow picks up behind it, be a bit colder behind it as well. As far as the heaviest concentration of moisture into the next 48 hours, again, primarily the central and Wasatch Ranges, Central Mountains, the Wasatch Mountains as well, and of course Southern Utah still dealing with some moisture. Sarah mentioned it, spring forward, daylight saving begins tonight. Spring forward at 2 o'clock, of course, usually just do it before you go to bed this evening. You'll be ready to go, but uh, yeah, we'll lose an hour of sleep, unfortunately. If you wait till 2 o'clock overnight, maybe put the kiddos to bed a little early uh, as anticipation of that hour of sleep loss. St. George, 65, chance of some showers and storms still on Sunday. Dry day on Monday, 66, should be 67 on Tuesday, throwing in that chance of some showers. St. Patrick's Day on Friday, low 60s continuing, breezy and partly cloudy on Saturday. The Wasatch Front throwing in some rain and snow showers again, primarily tomorrow, I think before noon. Then it'll be very scattered in nature into the afternoon for the Wasatch Front, high of 47. We get up to 52, southwest flow increasing and get ahead of this next atmospheric river event. 54 on Tuesday, rain likely, more rain on Wednesday. We dropped to 48 behind the front, just 44 for the high on Thursday. Rain and snow showers are expected. Dry weather is on Friday, partly cloudy skies on Saturday. Temperatures hovering about 10 degrees below average into next weekend. Sarah. All right, thanks, Nate. In other news, dozens of animals rescued this week. 20 dogs and seven cats from a New Mexico seizure rescued by Best Friends Animal Sanctuary in southern Utah. The dogs and cats were found in an uninhabited area living in makeshift housing by someone looking for rabbits in the rural area. The group of animals are of various ages, big sizes and small. All of them seem to be friendly and they say they're getting along with the other animals and staff. The Best Friends Sanctuary in Kanab, Utah received a video of the animals from the Deming Luna Animal Shelter in New Mexico and decided to take them in. We felt really strongly about helping these dogs, one for both the dogs and the people, uh, the dogs obviously in the conditions they were coming from, but also knowing that this is a large number of animals for a shelter like the Deming Luna Humane Society to take in. So we really wanted to be their support supporting them in all of their life-saving efforts. The director continuing to say that over the next few days, the animals will go through medical intake, making sure there isn't anything major going on with them. Once they've completed that, they'll be avail available for adoption in the coming weeks.